Hey guys, Mr. DeMeo, and today I'm going to talk to you about the biggest ball of gas in our solar system. Wait, you're gonna teach them about you? What a boring video. No, I'm gonna teach them about Jupiter, I guess. Wow, did the spaceship get an upgrade or something? You look so cool in here. And it has that new car smell. I know, right? I just had to trade a few things to that weird, soggy otter guy. What? Well, what did you trade? <laughs> After the cowboy movie Bonanza, will you cut my hair? So, where are we headed? Jupiter. It's one of the gas giants and the biggest planet in our solar system. Wow. Didn't we visit this planet a long time ago? You know, when you were a cartoon? Yeah. Please don't reference my horrible old cartoon videos. Wait a second. Jupiter's the biggest? Even bigger than Earth? Yes. Jupiter is a lot bigger than Earth. In fact, 1,300 Earths could fit inside of Jupiter. Wow. So this planet must be huge. But it looks so tiny in the night sky. Well, that's because it's actually really far. Where'd you hear that? You're right. At its closest point, Jupiter is 365 million miles away from Earth. It's going to take years to travel here. Oh no! Can we speed it up though? I'm getting a little car sick. But you're in a spaceship. Fine, I'm getting a little spaceship sick. Relax, we just need to make it through this. How on Earth, I, I mean Jupiter, are we gonna get through that? Relax, I have a plan. Get it? Now we are rocks too. Is this really going to work? Probably not. The asteroids in the asteroid belt are actually really miles apart, but I just thought it would look cool. Hey, watch this. Computer, lower the rock cloaking device. <gasps> We're here. My name is Herbert. I got a bird shirt. I'm licking Sherbert, and I go chirp, chirp, chirp. My name is Herbert. What was that? Oh, sorry about that. That's just uh, Jupiter's national anthem. The national anthem on Jupiter is a song about a bird named Herbert? What? Yes. So, Jupiter, we came all this way, and we have a few... I'll take it from here. Let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Do you have aliens on you? Yeah. Well, Jupiter is made of gas. I don't have a solid surface that aliens could land on, so I doubt it. Wait, you're made of gas? Yep. I'm mostly made of hydrogen and helium. Hey, where'd your blue friend go? If I had to guess, you said the word helium, so it made him think of balloons. So now he's gonna go get a balloon, inhale some helium, pop up and make his voice really high. Did somebody say helium? <laughs> you sound funny. Say some more weird stuff. I'm Mr. DeMeo, and I wear a variation of the same shirt in every video, and this is what I sound like. Wait, before you said there's no solid surface on Jupiter, does that mean you're like a cloud? Like, we could fly right through you? Well, no. There are a bunch of things that would stop you from flying through me, like strong pressure and wind, but on top of that, scientists aren't sure what's in the middle of me. There could be a solid core. Oh, a solid in the middle, like a peach. Yep. Or an avocado. Uh-huh. Or banana. Yep, wait, no. Let's get back on topic. Hey, Jupiter, I hate to be rude, but there's something on your face. Is it a blue bird named Herbert? No, it's like a big swirly thing. Is it a blue bird named Herbert? Oh, wait, I just said that. Oh, I know what that is. It's his... Ritz, but. What did he just say? Red spot, red spot, red spot, red spot. Yeah. The Great Red Spot is a giant hurricane that has been going for hundreds of years. Wow, hurricanes on Earth only last for a few weeks. Ooh. Tell me some stuff about this red spot. Well, first of all, it's huge. About two to three Earths could fit inside of it. Wow, how fast is the wind in that... Wait, what's it called again? Red spot. The wind inside of it can reach over 270 miles per hour. 
That's almost 100 miles per hour faster than the strongest hurricanes on Earth. Wow. The Great Red Spot is fascinating. No, no, no. You're saying it wrong. Say it like this. Red, red, spot, red, spot, spot, red spot, red spot, red spot, red spot, red spot. You're right. It just sounds cooler that way. All this stuff is cool and all, but I was really hoping to see some aliens. Well, then you may be interested in learning about my moons. Hmm. Carry on. Well, first of all, scientists believe I have 79 moons. Whoa. 79? <gasps> Earth only has one. Earth, if you're listening get more moons. Well, I don't think we have time to learn about them all. Can you tell me about a few of them at least? Sure. Let's start with Io. I owe you what? No, no, no. That's the name of the moon. Io. Now I owe you something? I've never even met you before. <sighs> Io is the name of one of my coolest moons. It's believed to have over 400 volcanoes and some of their explosions are so big you could see them with the telescope from Earth. Volcanoes are cool and all, but I didn't hear anything about aliens. Well, that brings me to Europa. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Europe. Tell him, Roberta. <coughs> Sorry, Hans, wrong guess. No, Jupiter is right. Europa is one of Jupiter's many moons. It's covered in ice, but scientists think that beneath the ice could be an ocean. 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 <laughs> Just because it has water, does that mean there's life on it? Not necessarily. But having water on it means that there's a chance that there may be life on it. Oh, you guys got me excited to see an alien. Now you're telling me that there may be life on one of Jupiter's moons? Hey, I have an idea. Does it involve Polish sausage? What? Um, yeah. Since I've been trading stuff all day, what do you say we do a trade for some? Okay, well, what are we trading? I'll trade you some Polish sausage for an alien from Europa. Okay, deal. There you go. Wait, what do you mean, there you? Look, everybody! Hang now. What? His name is Justin. Just be sure not to get him wet, don't expose him to bright lights, and whatever you do, don't feed him after midnight. I am seven years old, and I am allergic. I'm allergic to, to the air. Ah! An alien! And it doesn't even have pants! What? What is pants? It's like something you wear on your legs to keep you warm and stuff. Oh. What is pants? Hey, do you think he's gonna be with us forever? I mean, we barely have enough time for Roberta, Steve, me and you. Plus, there's only two seats on this ship and... Hey, where'd he go? Watch his pants. Wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? My name is Herbert. I got a bird shirt. I'm licking Sherbert. And I go chirp, chirp, chirp. My name is Red Spot, Red Spot, Red Spot. Think you know everything there is to know about me, Jupiter? No. Take the Jupiter quiz at Mr. DeMeo's Teachers Pay Teacher site. He has a bunch of quizzes and worksheets for his other videos there, too. Check the description box for a link. Also, check out some of Mr. DeMeo's t-shirts and merchandise at his Teespring. Like this cool Red Spot t-shirt, Roberta pillow, chicken farm shirt, and more. Check the description box for a link. And last, special thanks to Mr. DeMeo's patrons on Patreon. They helped him pick this topic. Special thanks to Mrs. Brown's first grade, Holden, Landon, and Claire, Zeno the Shark, Dean Scandalakis, Wesley C., Ella Boos, Michelle and Conrad, Cassidy and Gunnar Lamborn, and Nadia and Hannah. Do you want to see behind the scenes of Mr. DeMeo's videos? See his videos early? Pick his next topic? Or get your name in a video? Become a patron on Patreon and help this channel out. Check the description box for a link. That's in our solar system. Don't. <laughs> Don't. Movie again. <laughs> the movie with the cow. <laughs> All of them. 
Will you, as boy, it's like, will you give me a haircut <laughs> on my feet? <laughs> will you style my hair? Hey guys, Mr. DeMayo, today I'm going to talk to you Baba. <laughs> about Speedy the Artichoke <laughs> Demon. <laughs> What the scat man? <laughs> <laughs> I got a bird, I'm licking sherbet.